Okay. I know. I know. I know by the title. I know. I know. I understand. But, and I'm almost ashamed to admit that I was watching this documentary, but I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. This, it was on BBC America. <sighs> Apparently, there, there are men that, um, you know, like when you see, you know, bachelor party, something on like somebody's TV and they have the little plastic, little, little sex doll, you know, and it's always, you know, kind of funny thing, little, little blow up doll, right? You know, when, you know, you're watching like, you know, whatever, a little, oh, it, oh, the party got wild. And, you know, they always, you know, throw the, you know, obligatory blow up doll in the, in the scene to make it even funnier, right? Okay. You know, so obviously there are really blow up dolls, right? But apparently for some motherfuckers, this ain't good enough. Um, and going back to I was watching BBC America and apparently there are <sighs> shit. There are men that have d dolls that are life size and lifelike that run it and they cost like a few thousand dollars. And it was this whole documentary, and I, and I'm sorry, it's certain things I just cannot stop watching because I'm just, I, I don't even, it, damn, um, so they got these dolls, and they they don't have girlfriends, and they go out shopping for outfits for the dolls, and they they set them up, and they and. It was this one, and this one, and, and they're actually on camera admitting this shit. Like, uh, yeah, you know, um, I just look at her like she's a real person. And, um, you know, and, and there's one brother. He was, he was black. I'm like, why? I'm like, why? Why, brother? Why? Why? Why did you put your dick in a doll? First of all. But he, he had to send her off <laughs> to be repaired. And apparently there's someone somewhere that repairs sex dolls because... She had gotten worn out. <laughs> she had gotten worn out. He wore out his dial because he was humping her too hard. That's great. So he had to get her sent out, and he was all lonely when she was missing. And she came back, and he was all happy, and, and, and it was okay. And apparently there was this other guy. He had more than one. And he had a girlfriend, and she was like, um, she was like, uh, well, you know, it's just something that's a part of him. Well, later on in the documentary, you find out she left his ass because he had like, he had like three, and they were all just like sitting around the apartment too, which is some creepy shit. Let me tell you something, man. As growing up as a little boy, and as a young man, I don't know if any of you have either have daughters or have been somewhere and seen one of these little, uh, what do they call American girls? These little dolls. They're like these lifelike looking dolls. That is the scariest shit on the face of the earth. And for any of you that have like sisters and y'all grew up, you know, in the house in there. Look, let me tell you something. Dolls freak little boys and most men the fuck out. They freak us out. Like, like oh, it's dogs. You know, because we all know that dolls come to life and um, eat your flesh. That's just a fact. It's scientific. It can be proven. Um, so my thing is... As an adult male, like I could, I couldn't imagine being in a house with something like a mannequin standing there all the time. Because, as we know, you know, mannequins also come to life, and but they they just eat your brains because that's what mannequins. That's how they survive and have eternal youth, um, which also is a scientific fact for those of you that don't know. Um, so, I couldn't even imagine having a a. First of all. If you are paying a thousand dollars to hump a plastic dial, um, first of all, damn. Uh, second of all, give me the money, and I will teach you how to pick up women. Because if at any point to you in your if at any point it how do you how do you make that decision? Is, is what I'm really trying to get at. At what point do you wake up in the morning and you're just like, oh, well, it's going to be a great day. I think I'll fuck a doll. That's, uh, yeah, that's what I'll do. Or are you walking down the street and are like, oh, that mannequin. 
I would really get at that fucking mannequin right there. Or, you know, are you going to Toys R Us and, you know, you go down, you make a wrong turn and, you know, you suddenly get excited and you got an erection in the middle of the dial aisle. How the fuck do you decide that you want to fucking, that you want to fuck a dial? Because that right there, my friends, is a serious fucking commitment. Before it gets that bad, for anybody out there listening, yo, uh, subscribe to my channel and like holla, ask me anything that you need to ask me because no man should ever, 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 ever have to put his dick in a dial. It's, it's, it's just wrong. It's, I mean, it's, I don't even know how to describe how wrong it is because I don't, it's, how does that happen? I mean, you know, is it's I I don't understand. And yes, that is an actual real documentary. It was on BBC America. Um and um and they even have shit on YouTube, if y'all don't believe me. And what made me think about this shit was today or earlier today, like the Japanese made this walking robot. Um, and you know how they had the little Asamo and he's doing, you know, the, you know, he's doing Tai Chi and he's walking around. It's like, oh, look, it's the robots. And well, as you would know it, they made a slimmer version and put a dial head onto it. And it looks and it's an android. It is some straight up their robots are about to take over and kill us all. These damn, damn robots. But that made me th I'm like that. I'm like, oh, my. Oh, my God. Yeah, because because eventually, you know, the dials aren't going to be enough. It's that, you know, you're going to have to have your very own sex bot because that of course is the next logical step from dry humping a robot. So um if 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 at any time in your life you want to um hump a robot, please don't um because it makes the baby Jesus cry.